G'day, it's Shane here from Mighty Grape TV, and thank you for joining me at Mahone Bar. But more importantly, thank you for helping me bring McLaren Vale wine to the world. Today, I've got another treat. It's a treat for me as much as anything else. I've got another wine from the Taste McLaren Vale Red Pack Number no. 6. Uh, if you get a chance, check it out. All the W's, tastemclarenvale.com.au, and look under six packs, or go to the um, membership page, because it's part of the membership deal. But today, I've got the Wayward Wines 2010 Quattro Vini, obviously from McLaren Vale. I like the classy label. Now, Wayward Wines is a winery company that I've been uh, keeping an eye on for a while. Uh, g'day, Andrew. Uh, certainly been uh, uh, trying their wines a couple of times. And uh, for those that have been following, uh, may have uh, heard me talk about Wayward Wines a couple of times. Now, the interesting thing for me... Now, I've got to put my glasses on uh, to read this. But the interesting thing for me is this is a blend. Right, it's a blend of Nebbiolo, Sangiovese, Cabernet and Shiraz. They're looking for a, a very Tuscan style blend wine here. So if I read the back, um, the wayward philosophy is simple, to produce handcrafted wine. My European heritage and wayward approach lead me to indulge this passion and create wines outside the square. A blend with these varieties, I'd have to say, is outside the square. Definitely outside the square. Um, Nebbiolo um, is, uh, is a wine that, in Australia at least, you don't normally see in a blend. Uh, but it certainly makes some fantastic wines uh, in, in different stages, both here in Australia and from overseas. I tasted this wine just after it was bottled. I was quite impressed with it then. Should have settled down a lot more since then, so I'm really excited to try this again now. Tried a few Nebbiolo based wines of late and have been impressed every time. So I suppose if we're talking about European heritage, I should say Salute. That's really interesting. It's really interesting. I'm getting, um, uh, you know, the normal sort of berries, and there's quite a mixture of berries in there. But it's not the berries are not the primary uh, thing here. It's quite. It's almost savoury. Uh, what I'm getting. I'm getting uh, some subtle ginger coming through. Uh, some subtle um, a garlic as well. Some interesting rhubarb characters coming through and ever so subtly just on the back of the nose there is a, just a hint of orange maybe blood orange coming through and um, in my ex limited experience with Nebbiolo um, that's where the uh, the orange character is coming through and funnily enough they're developing in the glass now There's almost a hint of fairy floss coming through. Quite, quite interesting. And that interest is what has really drawn me to this wine. It's not your standard. Now, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with the standard Shiraz and the standard Cabernet, standard Grenache. But the blend here has just created something, again, outside the square, as Andrew says on his back label. Um, a really, really interesting wine. Let's keep going with the wanky thing. Yeah, that really is coming along nicely. That is a lovely, lovely wine. Now, how do I explain it? There's a lot going on there. Um, and again, it's, it's associated with that blend. Um, there's a little bit of plumminess there starting off. Um, definitely a bit of cherry coming through as well. Uh, that rhubarb, it's really interesting rhubarb character coming through. I wasn't expecting that. I can't recall that from last time I tried it.
and that and that just that that hint that waft of um, the orange the blood orange character coming through a little bit of rind maybe as well uh, coming through there as well definitely definitely that savory finish this is not a huge tannic wine by no means is this a huge tannic wine but there is layers of flavor there and there is a tannic structure there it's just not huge um, the oak's not overpowering the oak doesn't uh, uh, overly influence anything that's happening on the palate uh, it accompanies what's going on there uh, and it's just it just melts together quite nicely this is an absolute beauty absolute beauty uh, certainly come along since last time I tried it definitely worth uh, checking out um, what more can I say in terms of food right in terms of food I can see this as uh, you know you go to, to somebody's place for a barbecue and uh, you don't want to bring anything or take anything that's too heavy you don't know what's going to be cooked you don't want, you want something that's uh, reasonably light or maybe uh, pasta dishes uh, where you're looking for red wine to go with that but again don't get me wrong with those matches this wine has character this wine has flavor layers and layers of flavor um, it's an absolute beauty so again the Wabled Wines Quattro Vini 2010 now as I mentioned up front check out tastemclarenvale.com.au uh, it's going into one of their tasting packs into one of my tasting packs I should say but uh, I'm also going to put this on the website uh, in the coming weeks uh, for sale generally so uh, it's an absolute beauty now look, that's all we have time for Lonely Grape TV today I've had an absolute ball lovely lovely wine to share with you today I uh, hope you've enjoyed it even half of what I've enjoyed giving it to you and you've had a great time watching this video so uh, have a great week and we'll see you next time thanks